Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today is another fun day. I had to come downstairs and film this intro because my brother's up in his room and I don't want him hearing me. I got pretty like a girl. He got vice towards the girl. Today is my last basketball game pretty much ever because I don't think I'm actually gonna like try and play it in college. I decided I was going to film my day pretty much and like what I'm doing for my last basketball game because I want to like kind of get ready for it. I don't have like classes on Fridays just because I do like these college classes. I have like all morning to get ready pretty much but I'm going to meet someone for coffee soon. I'm going to get in the shower and I'm going to use this like tanning lotion stuff. I'm going to whiten my teeth a little bit. I'm going to curl my hair. I'm going to dress up really cute because that's what we're supposed to do today is like we have it's our last home game so we're dressing up really cute for pictures and stuff but yeah i'm just gonna take you guys along probably gonna cry at the end of this video it's crazy like basketball i've been playing for the last like 10 12 years i don't even know yeah it wasn't ever my main sport but like it definitely still shaped me and like gave me some of my like character and like what i've learned through life i'll like get into all that later let's just have a great day today i'm excited <laughs> Last oh practice, gosh. how do you feel? Yeah. <laughs> an end of an era. <laughs> Cassidy, how do you feel? Sad. Really? <laughs> rock on, rock on. Hey, family means everything. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> I just sit here and start I start pouring my heart out. <laughs> like it was it was a great time. Kenna, how do you feel? Good. Good. She's coming back next year. We're good. <laughs> She's not that sad. What'd you say, Abby? You're relieved. <laughs> <laughs> that, but honestly, stress free. It's, it's just like Where'd really I park? A weird time because it's like yeah, it doesn't it feel weird. like it. Because all the last four years, like the season ended, you still had open gym like after yeah. the season, like a month later. Where do I park? <laughs> Where do I park? I don't actually know where I parked. Yeah, it's weird. I feel like it'll be like what graduation kind of feels like. Like no, oh oh yeah yeah like the end of it like it's not gonna feel like I feel like it's it over cry. until. I'm aware a lot of people scared. <laughs> That's a good idea. So many blood, sweat, and tears going. Into yeah, it. a lot of years, a lot of dedication, a lot, a lot of, time. of time. Amen. Guys, so we're at shoot around. Oh, we're getting photos. Every time you vlog, <laughs> we're getting photos. We're at shoot around. We're having the time of our lives. Game day last last game day. Last game day of the game days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't know where I stopped filming. Took a shower. I got ready for the day. And when I got out of the shower, I want to show you guys what I've been using. So I used this because I wanted to get a little bit tan or like a little color, not even like tan. Because I'm so white and pale and in my jersey, I didn't want to look like that. Like also, I only used it today so it's probably not going to show much color by tonight you know we it was worth a shot and we're moisturized so even if it doesn't give me color we're nice and smooth also use this which is from an anderson's farm like company i think you can find them online put my masks on i use like a little brush like this and it is so helpful it changed my life because i used to be really messy with face masks i feel like this helped a lot uh these are the ingredients you can just like can you see that if we just like focus it in oh my gosh you literally can't oh my <laughs> Why does it not focus? The ingredients are white clay, carbon, and goat milk powdered. Powdered? Yeah. I want to find something that's kind of similar to that, but I did that and then I went to coffee with a friend, uploaded my video, and I got ready for our basketball shoot around. Took a ton of pictures, so I'll insert those here. I'll like put the pictures in the next video, the next slide. Really have a few minutes and then we're going to go to my game. And then we're gonna do senior night. And actually my family's coming in town, which I did not know, but that's pretty exciting. And I just feel great. I'm on top of the world right now, everybody. When you focus on the good, the good gets better. <laughs> Gonna, gonna can that three. Excited. You're gonna be a sniper. You're gonna shoot all those. Yeah, you, the, the, like the. Woo. <laughs> we got okay, this. Are you ready? We're Feeling gonna good. Have, we're gonna make it fun. Okay, last time I cried against this team. Hey, it was stressful, but we're gonna, we're gonna make it fun. Maybe have another team. I don't even care. I'll get a team. How about tonight? Um, 
honestly quite nervous. <laughs> okay, I haven't even thought about the game. Honestly. My mom invited like everybody. Yeah, my family's coming in town. My mom told me I didn't know. Yeah, I was I'm, like, oh. I, I have a feeling either my brother or cousin, somebody from out of town is here. But we'll see. How do you feel about tonight? I'm really excited to be honest with you. <laughs> that is <Shut> true. <laughs> <laughs> senior year without being a senior yeah, baby. How do you feel about tonight? Great. I am excited <laughs> to play you guys. She's, she was all practicing it. She was all getting ready. How do you I, feel? I, I feel ready. Yeah. She, they're they're underclassmen. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Okay. How do you feel about tonight? Pretty good. I want to win. She was a dumb. So nice. uh, how do you feel about tonight? Um, I'm kind of nervous, but at the same time, I want to kick some booty. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to get kicked in the booty. We want to kick their booty, okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wait, how you guys doing? Can we go? No. How are you? Well, guys. I see streamers. We're good. Okay, you guys can come. Here we go. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> How does anyone else feel? I'm supposed to be getting the reaction. It's so cute. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, look at these old pictures. Oh my gosh. That's Marley. Oh my gosh. That's Marley. That was fresh in here. <laughs> oh man. McKenna, you got the Burt's Bees chapstick? Thank you. Oh. Girl. Girl, thank you. Thank you for watching. We're getting ready for the game. That's why we got music playing. I'm taking some of my makeup off, but I need some for the photos too. of the night but marley martin one dribble three pull up all three in the basket but moran coming right. back over to martin she comes across the lane all the way to the right side gets the scoop layup to go two women show son there. say you know what we can do we can do that too nadine french passes to marley martin with a hand in her face she rattles home the triple son's back up two there you go together one two three together yeah. my biggest fan right here Where's my fat head? Um, what the? Off in the mail. Oh, did it? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Inter Basically, it's after my game. I just wanted to come on here because I wanted to just like speak to you person to person. Like, I hope that it helps someone, and actually, it helps like a younger girl who is struggling in sports or just struggling in life. A lot of people don't know this, but like, I wasn't gonna play basketball my freshman year. I played ever since I was like six, seven, eight. Like I had played basketball all throughout my life. It was never like something that I was super passionate about. It was just like a sport to keep me in shape for like softball because I play softball and that's kind of like my main sport. Never something that like I took the time of day to really like get better at. Especially when I was younger, I feel like I, I would play sports. Like I'd have fun in them of course, but like I would play sports kind of just to play them. Like I said, I wasn't gonna play my freshman year because I, I like hated the sport. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't really like like skilled like I said I never really practiced it outside of season it's not like I was like the tallest girl ever like it's not like I was built with a like athletic ability I was athletic so like I could easily adapt to sports and like especially when I was younger like back to it I wasn't gonna play basketball but my friends and my dad they they forced me to pretty much they, they pushed me to do it did it I went to tryouts on the freshman team we went like undefeated that year it was really fun and I had a good team and like we had good chemistry and stuff like that we got a new coach the next year uh, for varsity when I started to actually play on varsity that's when I got to um, first play and like if you're from my hometown you obviously know like we weren't the best in the league like let's be real here we didn't have the best basketball players on our team we didn't like we had a lot of people who played other sports that's not obviously an excuse to like 
not want to be good I guess but like it was just true like we didn't have real basketball players on our team freshman year was great I did really good um I enjoyed it I realized like okay like this sport is kind of cool like sophomore year I obviously got my opportunity to play varsity and that was really fun and it was more like exciting because obviously varsity is a like higher level than like JV and like freshmen we also have a pretty hard league in our town or whatever a lot of good players in our uh league which is like I mean it's really cool because like then you, gotta, you, you get to see where they go to college and you get to see what they get to do. Well, knowing people who like are really passionate about the sport and really like you get to play against them. Sophomore year, I got my chance to play on varsity. I want to be good, like I want, you know, but I didn't actually ever like put a ton of time in the off season. Still was like focused on other sports. I wanted to actually play volleyball in high school over basketball. Long story short, I couldn't play volleyball because it was the same time as fall ball for softball season. Junior year came around and I think junior year was more of like where I was like, okay, I'm a set player on varsity, but I still need to earn my spot. That's when I kind of started to be a shooting guard because I was like, okay, I want to shoot threes. Like I, I just enjoyed that. That gave me the most satisfaction. Junior year was probably the year I cried the most because of basketball. Honestly, such a hard year. And like with a new coach, it was a new transition to things and like a new team. Junior year was more of a year where I was like a perfectionist. I was confident in myself, but like I... I was still getting so down on myself when I would do something bad. So hard for me to like want to go out there and like, like I would be scared to fail. Finally towards the end of the year I think I got a little bit better at like not getting so down on myself. The thing that I just want to tell you is like throughout these four years I've learned and I've grown so much. Senior year is honestly the best year. If you don't know if you should play or like if you're still deciding or like you, you just don't know what to do like stick through it yes there are days that it's hard and like i would literally after almost every practice i'd like cry like junior year like i couldn't handle it i was like i'm not playing senior year i was like i was like if he says one more thing if my coach says one more thing or like if a girl says one more thing i'm walking out of these doors right now like i remember texting my mom that senior year was when I finally built up the confidence to actually play and to actually like own the game I guess you could say. I saw myself improving like I would I would drive I would like take the ball myself I would uh, shoot a ton of threes you know what I mean like I would go out and I'd practice like and I actually had a passion and a drive for the sport. Like, if I could just tell one person like just stick through it like the sport's gonna be over one day and like obviously like it just ended. Like, last year really opened my eyes to see like how much like better I could have been like I'm not sad to say like that I regret like not putting in those extra hours and like not doing that because like I said it's never been my main sport it's never been something that I've really liked last year really showed like that I do love the sport like I, I think it is really cool and I think if you're really good at it like congrats like props to you like you go for it all the way <laughs> like you got the court just being in those moments, especially with your team, and, like, just seeing everything, and, like, see, like finally, like, getting that move down in a game, and, like, finally making that shot is so satisfying. I don't want to ramble on anymore. I'm going to say, like, if you're watching this, if you're my coach, if you're my teammate, if you're someone I know, or if you're not, I want you to know that I'm, I'm thankful for this sport. If you're scared to try a new sport, if you're scared to try a new thing, or if you just, you just, you can't get through the season, or you can't do these certain things, like, you have to look at it with a positive like attitude or else it's never going to get better. Even just like in sports with like just in life like I've seen so much that like finally like things will be okay. It just shows me like how things do get better. Everything's going to be okay in the end. I just want you to know that life is too short and you don't actually know like when you're going to die. Like let's be real here. Take every moment in. Really just try to enjoy every moment. Life goes by quickly. It's crazy to me that I'm already 18 and that soon enough I will be graduating. Remember that life is good. Things that you're going through don't last. Good times are always coming. You just gotta be happy and you gotta find happiness in every way you can. You gotta love other people and love your life and love the little things and get rid of the things that aren't good for you. Get rid of the things that shouldn't be in your life. Um, yeah. To end with it, I'll show you some of the photos of my teammates. This one's my favorite one, I think. But I ripped it. This one's fun too. This one. These are my senior teammates. Throwback photo. Grateful, I'm thankful. All glory to God. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate whoever watches and whoever wants to hear me. If you want to be friends, you know where to find me. See you guys later. Bye. This couldn't happen.